today's video, we're going to talk about how to truly recognize if your child is being bullied. Hello everyone, my name is Frank Meckler. I'm the founder and CEO of Amada Bullying Prevention Programs. Thank you for tuning in today and watching this video. There's going to be a series of videos that Amada is going to run in the hope of uh, helping kids and parents and schools to be able to handle bullying. Bullying is a massive issue in our country as we all know. In fact, we've had uh, a lot going on with the bushfires uh, in uh, all throughout Australia at the moment. We've had uh, plenty going on with climate change and everybody's rallied together around those subjects. And I'm here to let you know that bullying in our country has taken the lives of more children, has affected more families, and affected more communities than the bushfires or climate change ever will. Bullying is a cancer in our society. It's underlying everything that we do, and uh, we need to change the way that we look at it. We need to change the way that we deal with it, and we need to change what we're doing about it. So, And that's what MADE is about. So um, if you are a parent or a student or you know somebody that's being bullied or you are being bullied yourself, please reach out to us on our website, www amada.com.au so make sure you log on there and uh, you can certainly contact us through that site if you need any extra support and obviously if you know a school that is uh, in need of our services or would like us to come and do a free bullying prevention presentation reach out to us get in touch with us and we'd be more than happy to come out and have a chat with uh, the students and the faculty you know, this is a serious issue and I know as a parent of three girls that have all gone through the school system that there's some definite signs that we need to look out for as parents because the fact is is that our kids don't actually know what to do in these situations. So generally if somebody doesn't know what to do in a situation, they'll do one of two things. First thing they might do is do nothing at all which is probably one of the worst things that they can do. They retreat into themselves, uh, they become very antisocial, um, it can lead to things like depression, anxiety, eating disorders, can even flare up in things like hives, um, you know, all sorts of skin conditions, and basically kids just don't have the tools to be able to deal with it, so they do nothing because they don't know what to do. And that's really um, where Amada comes in. Amada is all about teaching the kids what to be able to do so that they don't retreat into themselves and they don't have these terrible thoughts, these dark thoughts, and then become recluse. You know, end up going into their room for hours on end and, and not socializing with the rest of the family, not, you know, engaging with their friends, not engaging with the family, not engaging with their community, not wanting to participate in sports and, uh, and, and get out there and live their lives because they have this inner thought, this these inner demons that are compounded by the fact that they're being bullied every day and they just don't know what to do. So that's the first thing. The second thing they might do is the wrong thing. Might lash out, might be aggressive, might start bullying other people, might start damaging themselves, self-harming, which is the precursor to suicide. These are the things that the children are doing because again, they're just not educated to be able to deal with the situation in a positive way. The reality is, is that bullying is going to affect us, all of us, every day of our lives at one stage or another to varying degrees. And it really comes down to education and training. Awareness is one thing, but action is another. Teaching and training and mentoring students on how to deal with it and giving them the skills to be able to deal with it in a positive way is what a major is all about. So, as we said, today is about recognizing the precursors and the signs that are going on with your children and also then what to be able to do about it to be able to help them take the next positive steps so that you can help draw it out. So, you must have empathy. You must have compassion, you must have understanding, and you must understand that when your children are acting a certain way, they're not acting that way just because they're naughty, just because they're, they're being naughty or they, they want to do the wrong thing or they need to be punished because they're lashing out or what may be. They're reacting that way because of the circumstances and they don't know how to positively deal with it. So as a parent, as I am, and as many of you are, when you are engaging with your kids, it's very important not to be judgmental. It's important to be listening, understanding, and show them definite signs of compassion and empathy towards what's going on and be interested in them. Remember, kids only care how much you care. 
So if you engage with your kids on a daily basis and you can try to get them to open up to you without forcing it, because again, sometimes these, these things are difficult to talk to. And as a parent, sometimes you're coming in as that, uh, that um, superior figure that they look up to and they don't want to disappoint you or upset you or they don't even want to talk to you about some stuff. So there's things that you can do. One is that you can engage yourself. The second thing is, is that you can engage somebody else within the family to talk to them. If you're noticing signs of disengagement or if you're noticing signs of uh, self-harming or lashing out or any of these issues that we've talked about that with children being able to deal with it. So, or you can engage a professional. You can talk to the school. And again, sometimes talking to the school when a school's got thousands of kids, uh, you know, it can be challenging if you really want that specific help. Or you can contact a MADA and we can get... Uh, in touch with the school and we can certainly uh, you know, look to engage our services with your local school and help the kids, not just your child, but every child to be able to deal with bullying. So one of the most difficult things as a parent is trying to get your kids to open up, especially when they don't really know how to communicate well. And as parents, we get so busy when we pick our kids up, we just sort of get them in the car and you know, get off to our day or, you know, if, if our kids are in high school and they're coming home on their own and we're at work, we come home, and we, you know, there's very little engagement there. So, you know, if you are uh, a parent that is feeling like there is signs that your child might be being bullied, there are certain things that you can do and certain questions you can ask to try and open them up. And the best way is to start general because, you know, you have just general conversations, but with most people, that's where it stops really for a parent that's engaging with their child and concerned with their child, that should be where the conversation starts. So you can start with things like, you know, how was your day? And they're going to go good or fine or whatever. It was okay. And, uh, you know, what did you get up to today? Oh, not much is going to be the response. Because again, you're going to get these monosynomic answers back from your kids. But then, uh, you know, you might say to them, okay, so what do you do on your lunch break normally? You know, you get a couple of breaks a day. What do you, what do, you, what do, you do on your break? And then, you know, they might come and say, oh, you know, I just sort of uh, hang out or I sit down, I do this or I go and play this or play that. Oh, okay, so, you know, who do you play with or who do you hang out with? Uh, you know, and then they might say, oh, you know, um, just, just a couple of friends or whatever. And you can say, well, you're still friends with Sam or you're still friends with Johnny or Tom or, you know, and, and again, you're digging down. You're starting to dig down as a parent. You're starting to, again, you're showing them how much you care because you're interested in what they're doing on their, uh, you know, throughout their day on their daily basis. As they go through their school day, they're going to be engaging with all these people and you want to try and draw out what's going on with them. So you might say to them, look, you know, um, if they're not hanging out, you know, with their friends or they're not doing anything or they're doing things differently than what you thought, you can say, look, um, is there anybody at school that doesn't treat you well? Is there any of those kids at school that you hang out with that don't um, treat you nicely or they're mean to you or rude to you or anything like that? Are you going through anything like that, uh, you know, every day? That you go and they might say, oh, you know, they might say, no, you know, everything's fine. Or they might say, oh, you know, there's a couple of kids. And if there is, you can say, oh, well, how does that make you feel? Then they'll turn around and go, oh, well, you know, it makes me feel pretty ordinary. It makes me feel like shit. It just makes me feel terrible. It doesn't make me feel very good inside. And you can ask them, so what do you do about that? How do you handle that? You know, because I know, and you can relate it then back to you. You can say, look, I know when I was going to school, um, you know, I had a kid, uh, a few kids that were pretty mean to me and they picked on me. And every day I went, there was this one particular boy, um, you know, he just had it in for me. He seemed to have it in for me. I, I don't know if you're experiencing anything like that, but I know I had a really, really, you know, a bit of a tough time at school. And, you know, it was by talking to people and, to, you know, having some good people around me that actually helped me get through that. So, again, you want to be general when you start because you don't want the kids to get defensive and then you want to show them how much you care by being interested and asking them questions in more detail. You start digging down into uh, their day and find out what they're dealing with every single day. By doing that, they will be more likely to open up to you. And even if they've got nothing going on, you can say to them, look, I just want you to know that, you know, if you ever are like me and, and do have somebody like that that is targeting you or picking on you or anything like that, you can always talk to me about it. I want you to I want you to be able to open up and talk to me about it because you know sometimes it's tough when you don't have a lot of friends or you don't have a lot of good people around you that you can trust. So I want to thank you for listening today and parents, uh, you know, from my heart to yours, 
We are here to make a stand against bullying at Amada. We are working very, very hard on a daily basis and in many schools. So we are going to be releasing a whole lot of information around bullying to help parents to be able to deal with it, to help kids, to help schools, to help our community. So if you like our video, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so that when we do drop a new video with, uh, with relevant information, you'll be aware of what's going on and uh, you'll be able to tap into that information and hopefully be able to